Thank you all for coming. Good afternoon. Today I'm pleased to introduce two distinguished Americans. Elaine Chao was the first Asian-American Secretary of Labor ever sworn in at the White House's Oval Office. The woman holding the Bible for her is her mother, Ruth Mulan Chu Chao, Elaine's source of inspiration. But Elaine didn't know that her mother had just undergone her first round of chemotherapy treatment for her newly discovered lymphoma. And I did not know until after the swearing-in ceremony that um, she had just received her first chemotherapy treatment. It was very painful. She was nauseous, and yet she went into the Oval Office, greeted the president, um, did not indicate at all how ill she was. Sandra Day O'Connor, the former Supreme Court Justice, still remembers Ruth vividly. While I was presiding over the ceremony, Ruth had just been treated with intense chemotherapy and radiation, but she courageously held the Bible without showing any signs of her suffering and pain, which earned the respect of many people. At her confirmation hearing as the president's nominee to be the U.S. Secretary of Labor before the United States Senate, but Elaine proudly her introduced her parents Chow. and her sisters who had accompanied her to the United sister States Elaine Senate. Chow, my uh, youngest sister, Angela Chow, and uh, my brother-in-law, Jeff Wong. Here, here. Thank you. My mother is an incredibly inspiring person. Like so many women of her generation, uh, she did not have a career, and yet she dedicated her whole life to supporting her husband and her children to ensure that we are able to have the opportunities and the advancement and achievements that we are able to have today. Seven years later, Ruth succumbed to cancer on August 2, 2007. A loving wife and mother, an advocate for women's equality, a devoted Christian, a first-generation Chinese immigrant, and a passionate philanthropist. Ruth inspired not only her husband and six daughters, but also those who knew her and who were familiar with her stories. Mrs. Ruth Chow's life was marked by extraordinary perseverance and a quiet energy. Ruth faced her battle with lymphoma with the same courage she showed every day of her life. Mrs. Chow's legacy lives on through her six daughters, whom she loved so much. She taught them, and all who knew her, about faith, courage, determination, and love. She was a great champion for her family and was the foundation for all that her husband and daughters have achieved. Her life serves as an inspiration to all of us. Her legacy lives on, but she will be missed. On March 19, 1930, Ruth Mulan Chu Cha was born into a distinguished family in Anhui province. Her father was an official in the judicial department in Nanjing in the government. She was the second child of the family. As was the case with all her siblings, she received a Western-style education in Nanjing. Ruth was born into an era of turbulence and war. While she was studying at the Nanjing Mingda Girls School, China's civil war broke out. In the spring of 1949, Ruth left Nanjing for Jiading, a small town in the suburbs of Shanghai to avoid the turmoil of the war. She found her temporary residence at her best friend Zhang Zheng's home. Ruth studied at Jiading Number 1 Middle School. 
Her classmate, Zhu Xiqing, was running the magazine for their class. I have loved rain since my first memory of it. It can soothe your worries, add dimensions, and enhance colors. Foremost, rain is a harbinger of a bright, sunshiny tomorrow. As in the proverb, clear skies follow rain, darkness awaits the imminent light. Though Ruth was just 19 years old, she'd already solidified her optimism and strength, which would support her as she encountered hardships throughout her whole life and future. It has been five years since Ruth passed away. The room where Ruth spent her last days is still intact. It's full of family photos and wishes from daughters and grandchildren from when Ruth was fighting lymphoma. Every day, when James comes back home, the first thing he does is to tell Ruth about his day. Hi, Ma. You came back? Yeah, it's all good. I'm going to talk to you with Jimmy, I'm going to talk to you. It's all good. I'm going to talk to you with Jimmy. 公司里面也很好，小孩子都很好，呀，所以很高兴，谢谢，呀。It's the 61st anniversary of their marriage, and everything is just like yesterday. James was the only son of an elementary school headmaster in Jiading. He met Ruth for the first time at Zhang Zheng's home. 当他们接到给木兰结婚的时候啊。一看到那么漂亮，真是所谓一见钟情，我心动了。因为我来一一介绍的辰光，那那位人啊，小姑那个辰光少女的羞涩嘛，少女的羞涩羞得面面孔通红。The two young people were immersed in the sweetness of youth and love, unaware of the forthcoming atrocities of the war looming over them and the whole country. In March 1949. The civil war was nearing its end. The nationalist government was on the verge of a complete collapse and preparing a massive retreat to Taiwan. It would be almost half a century later when Ruth and Zhang Zheng met again and flipped through this photo album, which had survived plenty of turmoil and time. When Ruth left Shanghai in haste, James lost all that he cherished overnight. Because I was in Shanghai. 要海的时候，你必须要去到船上去实习。那你知道离开上海没有几天啊？上海解放了，上海是解放了，可是港口封起来了，所以我就糊里糊涂的离开了上海，总是跟家庭也断绝了关系，跟木兰也断了消息。呀，小的时候，念书的时候，因为我们那个时候念书看不到城的，所以跑到黄浦江那边，那个是三号码头就是个附近，到城上去看看，看看外面也很好，所以我一直对海非常向往。呀。First, my father sent me to the ship. The ship is actually anchored outside, so when he sent it to me, he waved to me. I never realized at that time, that's the last departure. I never see him again. So that's a very sad situation. James and Ruth lost contact with each other, while fate led both of them to Taiwan, among the 2.5 million people who swarmed onto the island. Alone in a strange place, 
James moved on courageously. He soon found a job working as the second mate on a ship. Where there is a will, there is a way. One day he discovered Ruth's name in a newspaper. It was the list of the students admitted to universities. With just this little clue, James finally found Ruth. But Ruth told her best friend Zhang Zheng her joy upon seeing James Chow. James and Ruth happily married in Taiwan. Feitanho. Life was not easy. James was away from home most of the year. Even when their first child, Elaine, was born, it was not until one month later that James saw her for the first time. At this period, most of their family photos were taken on ships. Ruth would go all the way to wherever James' ship was anchored in Taiwan during his short stay ashore. Nagasi 我就问他了,我说你那么激强,不如夜里 This is the office of Foremost Group 
James's shipping company. He started it 50 years ago. Now it has become one of the most successful shipping companies in the world. Even at the age of 84, James comes to work every day. 55 years ago, he was the youngest captain, but he got the highest exam score of all the senior captains, which earned him an opportunity to study in the USA. However, James hesitated. James left Taiwan to pursue his dream in America. Ruth once again started a ritual of waiting for another reunion. This time, she would have to wait for three years to meet her beloved husband again. In those days, in the 1960s, my parents communicated by what's called these, they're blue paper, and you fold them up to save on postage. And my mother wrote letters all the time to my father, uh, telling him about what the children were doing, how the children are doing in school, and my father, of course, would write back as well. These are the letters your mommy and I wrote to get exchanged before, actually immediately before you 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 come to the United States, they all write. Fills every, a few the every page. Fills every page. Every, every page. corner. Every nook. Every nook. They utilize every <laughs> space on these paper mm. to write letters. In the late 1950s, after James had just gone to the States, he got news of his father's sudden death in mainland China. Being alone in a remote country, he was devastated. Ruth's vision turned into reality. James' company prospered, and he went on to have a very successful career. In the beginning of 2012, James went to Shanghai to receive the latest cargo ship made by Waigaochao Shipbuilding Corporation. Since Ruth's passing, the youngest daughter, Angela, 